In today's episode, we are going to look at current divider rule. We've already talked about the current divider rule in the previous episode for two resistors. In this episode, we are going to focus on the current divider rule for three or more resistors. So we are going to deal with three or more resistors in a single circuit, which are what? Parallel. In parallel circuits. And we know that this is going to help us to what? To find current in the loads. Are we okay? So this episode is going to base on three or more resistors. So let's have a diagram. If I have my circuit for three or more resistors which are in parallel, such as this. So with this, I'm having my voltage source. I have my resistor one, resistor two, and resistor three. So let's have the current, I T. that's the total current from the source. Now, this current is going to divide itself into two here. So one, let's call this I naught, and there will be a current I1 here. And this I naught is also going to divide itself here. Let's call this I3, and the one through this as I2. So now, current through the loads, IT is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, this current. So how do we know the value for each of the current I1, I2, and I3? If they are two resistors, we already talked about how to use the current divider rule, but here, if it's three or more, how do we go by it? So this is three resistors. In such cases, our I1 is going to obey this formula. We are going to use one on resistor one. Everything on one on resistor one plus one on resistor two plus one on resistor three. Everything multiply the total current. So this is the method for finding current I1. It applies to I2 also. I2 is also going to be one on which resistor? Resistor two, everything on one on resistor one plus one on resistor two plus one on resistor three. Multiplying the total current. The same thing for resistor three, which is also going to be one on resistor three. 1 on resistor 1 plus 1 on resistor 2 plus 1 on resistor 3, multiplying the total current. So these expressions should help us to calculate for the individual current in each of the branches when we have three or more resistors in a parallel circuit. Are we good? So if they are four, let's assume if we have four resistors, how are we also going to find this? So in a situation such as this is a circuit where we have four resistors. So I have resistor one, resistor two, I have resistor 3 and this is resistor 4. So my total current IT is moving. There will be a current in R1, R2, R3, and R4. So let's call this current I1. Let's call this I2, I3, and this current I4. Are we okay? So the current divide here, let's call it I naught. Let's call this I double naught and this 
is the same as I4. Are you okay? So this is the same as I4. We have four currents where our IT is the summation of I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Now, if we want to use the current divider rule to find the current passing through the first branch, that's the resistor 1, the same approach we use here, we are going to have I1 should be equal to 1 on resistor 1 because we are talking about the first resistor. Everything on 1 on resistor 1 plus 1 on resistor 2 plus 1 on resistor 3 plus 1 on resistor 4. Then everything multiplying the total current. The same thing for I2 is also going to be 1 on resistor 2, everything on that. Resistor 4. So if there are 5, 6 resistors, you can repeat the same pattern to find. So the same thing is going to happen to I3 and the same thing is going to happen to I4. So this is for having three or more resistors. Let's solve some examples and find out how we will calculate for the current in the various branches. Let's see example one. Now, find the current I1, I2, and I3 from the circuit. So we have an electrical circuit with three resistors. Resistor 1, 2, 3, and a current of 14 amperes. So we are to find a current that is flowing through resistor 1 of 2 ohms and resistor 2 of 4 ohms and resistor 3 of 8 ohms. So here the current divider is going to help us to calculate for each of the current in the branch. So now let's write down our parameters from the circuit, our IT, which is the total current, is 14 amperes. And resistor 1 is giving us 2 ohms. Resistor 2 is 4 ohms. We have our resistor 3 as 8 ohms. And we are looking for I1 unknown. I2 is also unknown. Then our I3 is unknown so straight away we know that for three or more resistors the current divider is going to be in this form now i for one is going to be one on r1 everything on one on r1 plus one on r2 since we have three of the resistors r3 everything multiply the total current. So this is the formula for finding current I1. So we can put in the values and get I1 should be 1 on resistor 1, which is 2 ohms, 2. Everything on 1 on resistor 1, 2. 1 on resistor 2, which is 4, and 1 on resistor 3, which is 8. Multiplying the total current of 14 amperes so we now simplify this to get one on two everything on seven on eight multiplying 14. now if we do our mathematics then our i1 is going to be so half multiplying eight on seven multiplying 14 and i1 is eight Amperes. So the current passing through I or resistor 1 is 8 amperes. Are we okay? After using the equation, we are getting 8 amperes for the current. Now let's look at I2. I2. We can use a shortcut, but let's use the current divider method. So I2 is also going to be 1 on resistor 2, everything on 1 on resistor 1 plus 
resistor 2, 1 on resistor 3, multiplying the total current this way. So we can now put in our values and see what we can do. So our I2 is going to be 1 on R2. R2 is giving us 4 and 1 on 2 plus 1 on 4 plus 1 on 8. Everything multiplying the total current of what? 14. Therefore, our I2 is going to be 1 on 4 divided 7 on 8. Still multiplying 14 amperes. And when we do our mathematics, I2 is going to be 1 on 4 times 8 on 7 multiplying 14. And with this, our I2 is giving us a current of 4 amperes. So we have that. Now look at what we got for I1. I1, the current is 8 amperes and the resistor is of resistance 2 ohms. And look at I2, which has a resistance of what? 4 ohms. So what do you see? R2. You can see that R1 is 2, and if R2 is doubled, the current is going to be half of I1. You can see that for 2 ohm resistor, the current is 8. Now we increase the resistance to 4, and it is going to half the current. So that should help you in an objective approach. So our I3, we can now say IT is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, where our I3 is going to be IT minus I1 minus I2. We already have this, which the total current is 14 minus I1, which is 8 minus I2, which is 4. And with this, we are going to get 2 amperes for this I3. Are we okay? So now we have the current for each of the resistors. I1 is 4 amperes. I1 is 8 amperes. I2, which is 4 amperes. And I3 is what? 2 amperes. Now check the resistance. This was corresponding to I1, which is 2 ohms. We now increase it to 4. The current is half. Now we now increase it to 8. The current is again half. So the increase in the resistance will be decreasing the current from the Ohm's law, which it says IR. So our I is going to be V on R. Let's check out for example 2 and see how best we can solve that. So example 2. So calculate the current in each resistor. We have our diagram with four resistors, each with eight resistance. And we have to calculate for the current I1 through resistor 1, I2, resistor 2, I3, and I4. Given the total current of, we have 15 amperes. So now we can list our parameters and start solving. So with this, we have our IT, which is the total current as 15 amperes. And also we have the resistor one through which I1 is passing as 12 ohm. Our resistor 2 is giving us 24 ohms. We have resistor 3 as 16 ohms. Resistor 4, which is 8 ohm. So now we have everything in place. So let's try to use the current divider rule to find the current in each of them. And we know to find the current in I1, that is going to be 1 on R1, everything on 1 on R1, plus 1 on R2, plus 1 on R3, they are 4, so plus 1 on R4, 
multiplying it, the total current. So for I1, that is going to be one on resistor one, which is 12 ohms, one on 12, everything on, one on 12 for resistor one, resistor two, one on 24, plus resistor three, which is one on 16, resistor four, one on eight. Multiplying the total current of 15 amperes. So now we try to simplify this. We are going to get a 1 on 12 still divided by, you solve the denominator, you are going to get 5 on 16 multiplying our 15 amperes. So in simple terms, I1 is going to be 1 on 12 times 16 on 5 times. 15 amperes leading to get i1 as 4 amperes for the current so in the circuit our i1 is 4 amperes are we okay and you can see that the resistance of resistor 1 is 12 ohms now we have to find i2 i2 is unknown and checking the resistance of r2 it is what? 24 ohms. So if now a resistance of 12 ohms is giving us 4 amperes, here in I2, we've doubled the resistance, meaning it is going to have a current. So meaning we can say our I2 is straight 2 amperes, since the resistance is what? Doubled. It is going to be 2 amperes. But you can still go by the current divider approach. But using this rule, you can also get I2 to be 2 amperes. So now I have my I2 to be 2 amperes. Let's look at I3 and calculate. So my I3, I'm going to use the rule again. So I3 will be 1 on R3 on. 1 on R1 plus 1 on R2, 1 on R3 plus 1 on R4. Everything is multiplying the total current, meaning I3 is going to be now 1 on 16 over 1 on 12, 1 on 24 plus 1 on 16 plus 1 on 8, everything multiplying the total current of 15. So this is going to be I3, 1 on 16 divided by 5 on 16, multiplying 15. Now when you get here, it is just mathematics, so you can just use your calculator and solve for the value, which is 15. So here, from the calculation, my I, so this will cancel this, this can take here 3, multiplying 1. So I3 is 3 amperes. Are we okay? Now we have I1, I2, I3. You can still find I4 using the same current divider approach, but we also know that I total is the summation of I1, I2, I3, and I4. Now we know this three and we know IT. So our I4 is giving us the total current minus I1 minus I2 minus I3, which means I4 will be 15, which is the total, minus I1, which is four amperes, I2, two and I3, three. So in all, our current I4 is six amperes are we okay so this is for the current divider when we have three or more resistors thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel like the video and drop your comments thank you for your time thank you for your time